Hello, this is Mr. Mike Murray, and welcome to Balancing Equations. Doesn't that sound like fun? I bet it does. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we are going to identify and balance equations. You've done some of this already, I think, but just to make sure, here we go. Uh, first thing we need to do is write down all the elements that are found on each side of the equation. Remember, this is like an equal sign. Here's what you had before that you add together. Here's what you end up after. All right. So the number of atoms on this side of the arrow have to equal the number of atoms of each kind on this side of the arrow. So first of all, we need to figure out how many do we have of each one. And then we can decide, is it balanced or does it need to be balanced? All right. So first of all, we have PB here. And we have no number right here, so that means we have one atom of lead, okay? Nitrogen has no number in front of it, so that means one. But it's in parentheses, so we have to multiply two times the nitrogen and two times the oxygen. So that would give us two nitrogens, and that would give us two times three gives us six. I mean, yeah, so two nitrogens and six oxygens. All right, over here, K only has one, so we just put a... Uh, equals one there, and I don't have a number, so we can assume there's just one there. All right, now we need to see that there's the same amount on the other side. We can't have new atoms just come up from somewhere, so we have to have the same number of atoms before and the same number of atoms afterwards on the other side. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we have lead. There's no number right there, so that means there's one, which matches with our other side. Iodine, though, has a number there, so there's actually two of those okay in order to match up with the lead and form a compound it takes two iodines uh, that's a problem but we'll get to that in a minute all right potassium over here is one also so we have one potassium we have one nitrogen and we have three oxygens because a little three by it now here's the deal to make this equal i can't just go put a little two right here it would make it handy if I could, but that's not the formula for Ki or potassium iodide. The formula is one potassium, one iodine. So I cannot change the formula when I try to balance the equation. All right, so I'm going to click on that. Boom. And delete it and take it off. Okay, so let's go back to the drawing down here. All right, so the only way I can make two iodines is if I say, hey, let's take two of the whole Ki Ki compound okay we say two of those okay which gives me that means two times k and two times i it's two times everything in front of it all right so that gives me two potassiums and it gives me two iodines so now my iodines match up i have two here and two here but now i have two potassiums so it's kind of a chasing thing we chase one down got it right Whoop, now we gotta chase the other one down okay um so uh the only way we can make two potassiums, once again, we can't put a little number in here. We can only put a big number in front of the whole thing and say two of this whole thing, okay, which gives me two potassiums. I had one nitrogen. Now it's one times two gives me two nitrogens. And I had three oxygens, but three times two gives me six oxygens now. And it turns out that not only does that fix my potassium problem, that also fixes my nitrogen and oxygen problems. Okay, so first of all, we need to, I'm sorry, since this was unbalanced, we're going to put a U in the blank to start with. Okay, and now we have balanced it. Okay, we have one lead, one lead, two potassium, two potassium, two iodines, two iodines, two nitrogens, two nitrogens, and six oxygens with six oxygens. So it's nice and balanced. So in order for this reaction to work, you have to have one molecule of lead nitrate for every two molecules of potassium iodide. If you mix those together, you'll make one particle of potassium iodide and two potassium nitrates, okay? And everything is all nice and balanced. All right. Now, if we look at number two, it's a little easier at least. We just have hydrogen and we have oxygen. Okay, and over here we just have hydrogen, long hydrogen, <laughs> and an oxygen. All right, over here we have how many hydrogens? Well, we have two, and oxygen also has two. But on this side, although we have two hydrogens, we only have one oxygen. And that won't work because we've got to have the same number of atoms on both sides. We can't just lose some atoms here or there. 
uh, willy-nilly. So the only way we can make two oxygens is to put a two right there, okay, which will change one oxygen times two gives you two, but when we put it in front, that changes everything. So two times two now gives us four hydrogens. Okay, forgot. this was unbalanced, so we need to put a U in the blank, sorry. Okay, all right. Now we have four hydrogens, but we only have two. We have oxygens are good, but our hydrogens are off. We only have two hydrogens over here. So we need to put a two right here, which would give us a total of four hydrogens. And now we have four hydrogens, two oxygens, four hydrogens, two oxygens, it's balanced. So it would take two hydrogen molecules to join it with a O2 molecule or oxygen, and that would give us two molecules of water, and that would be balanced. All right, let's do one more, and then I'll send you off on your own. Uh, this one is Cu, which is copper. Okay, we also have a capital S right there, which is sulfur, and we have oxygen, and we have zinc. I'm not gonna have room to write it down there. You might, okay? All right, or we could do it with text. Text might be easier. Okay, and I'm gonna put, we've got Z in. I've got sulfur. I have oxygen, and I have room for copper, just barely, sort of, okay, copper. Okay, so on this side, I have how many coppers? I have one copper. I have how many oxygens? Well, there's O4, so I'm gonna have four oxygens. Okay, sulfurs, I just have one, and zinc, I just have one. Okay, so on the other side, which I should have also done with text, but I didn't, but you can use the text tool. All right, so we're going to draw. We have how many coppers? Well, we have one copper. There's no number here. There's no number by the sulfur, so we have one sulfur. There's four oxygens. All right, and zinc just has one. Now, if we compare that, that's exactly what we have over here. We have one copper, one copper. We have four oxygen, four oxygens, one sulfur, one sulfur, one zinc, one zinc. And lucky us, this one is already balanced. So we don't have to put any numbers on it over here to make it balanced. We just put a B in the blank that says it is balanced. So if it's balanced, you can just put a B in the blank and you're done. But if it's unbalanced, then you need to add numbers, we call them coefficients, in front of each of these compounds in order to make them balance. And that's what you're trying to do. All right, so give it a shot, give it a whirl, and you can do that. All right, have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow.